Biden tonight calling a news conference in Washington after a special counsel deciding not to charge him for taking home classified documents while he was vice president. But at the news conference tonight, Mr. Biden clearly upset by the prosecutor's implications that his memory isn't what it used to be. And then reporters questioned Mr. Biden's competency. At one point, he made a glaring mistake, calling the president of Egypt the president of Mexico. I did not share classified information. I did not share it with your ghost writer. With my ghost writer, I did not. Guarantee you did not. President Biden reacting tonight with anger to Special Prosecutor Robert Hur's report that the president willfully retained and shared classified materials seized from his garage and his home office. I did not break the law, period. Prosecutor Hur, appointed special counsel by then President Trump, declined to pursue a criminal case with the explanation that, quoting now, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. Biden called tonight's press conference, and reporters pounced. Many American people have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is they, your judgment. And then moments later, a Biden gaffe when talking about the Middle East. He was talking about the president of Egypt, but it didn't come out like that. Initially... The president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate. As for the report itself, he admitted no personal wrongdoing and said it's time to move on. I take responsibility for not having seen exactly what my staff was doing. Bottom line is the matter is now closed. Age, of course, is an issue for some voters, whether it be Mr. Biden and Mr. Trump. The ABC News medical unit tonight putting the health question into perspective. We're quoting now, memory lapses become a medical concern when they interfere with your daily life and ability to stick to your normal routine and personal safety, end quote. Is the standard different for someone running for president? We might find out.